Hey, it's officially live. I'm Jordan Live, and this is your 2017 CAU Elections. I wait. 
competitor and why? Thank you for that question. So all of these ladies up here on the stage are wonderful. I've had a chance to connect with them uh, during pageant practice. So I wouldn't necessarily say the person who I'm competing against um, is better than me up here. I would have to say I am my own self. Yes. Um, All right. about their problems so we can make sure that we're aware of the signs and what they go through. 
question. I believe recognition is inclusive. So in certain events that I would host, I will make sure that we have representation of the LGBTQ community at my event. So at all times, someone sees someone they can relate to. And I feel like that is even bigger than one event because you can come to an event and know someone's there who you can look at and say, that's me and I could be her. Thank you. Understand what I do not understand about the LGBT community. So, what what my initiative would be to make them feel more inclus included would be to, to reach out and have that conversation to see what is lacking here at CAU for them. Because I do not know. I, I think having that conversation would be the first step. Because I wouldn't want to host events that, that that aren't what they need. And then, in addition to that, educating the students here and the faculty on their needs so that they can be included in our CAU community. This all goes back to the whole mental uh, health, um, using Kresge as the source and going also and getting help with the counseling. Um, I think that's very important because we never know what they're struggling with on, um, in their minds. So because we're not them, we can't connect. I feel like every or everything that I put together, everything that I'll be working with, you're more than welcome to join, you're more than welcome to come and input anything that you would like to be a part of as far as that. And um, just help me help you. That's all. I don't know a lot about it, so if you help me, I'll help you. It's fine. <laughs> right now I have Rashida. Rashida, how are you? Good in yourself. I'm good. So how do you think speeches and debates? So when I know it's the first night, it was a little tough. He has a lot of competition up there. How do you think you did? I think I did pretty well for myself, especially doing this my third go around. I feel like I finally got comfortable with this stage. You should be a pro. I guess you could say that. Tell us a little bit about your platform if people don't know about it. Tell us because you're, you know, you're what, Wonder Woman? Wonder Woman. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about it. Well, I chose Wonder Woman first of all because she has two personalities, is Wonder Woman and the Prince. With me, it's Rashida Williams and Michelle Obama, so she, we kind of relate. So I took the acronym of the word TRs, and the reason why I did that is because she wears a mystical TR that reflects. So TRs means transforming individuals above regularly accepting standards to assist the men and women of Clark University in becoming their own superheroes. Yeah. Right now, we have one of our very own, Shakayla Janelle. Hey everybody. How did speeches and debates go? Because it's the first day. It's the first round. I know it was a little tough. How was it? Speeches and debates, I feel like definitely had everybody shaking in their boots, but I feel like overall we had a great outcome. I feel like everybody gave the most genuine answers that they could come up with, and I'm glad it's over. I bet you are. Was it as hard as you thought it was? Um, the support from the audience definitely helped out a lot. It is challenging though. Answering those questions is hard. It is. But we made it through. We did. That's good. We was we was all room. I don't know if you heard me in the audience or not. But one of them questions, you you, I'm talking about a good answer. You talking about a good answer? Jordan, your face. I saw you. It was like I think it was like if you could sell, you know, the university in 30 seconds, could you sell it? She sold it, y'all. I would buy it. I said I'll buy. I'll buy it. He said it too. He was like, I will buy it. I was like that. She sold it. You got to. You have to sell it to the people. And I think that's one of the most important things um, with speeches and debates is being able to sell your platform, being able to sell exactly who you are because you know it's a competition and people have to want to buy it. So tell everybody a little bit about your platform. Okay, so my platform suite means starting with excellence and embracing transformation because although we might start with what we think is our best foot forward, sometimes change is necessary for success. All right, well, that's Shakayla Janelle, everybody. Make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, as you always do. Um, we have a show coming up tomorrow. I don't know, she might be a little busy for that, but we're going, you know, Stay tuned. Through. You might slide through. I might slide through. We're going to give her a pass because it's campaign week. We know it's hectic, but you guys make sure you stay tuned to Officially Live. For all your campaign coverage, make sure you follow us at Officially Live on Twitter and Instagram. And don't forget to use our hashtag OLCAU elections. Stay tuned. Finally, I'm, over, I'm so tired. We haven't eaten all of it. I'm over it. I'm over it, Trey. I'm over it. I'm over it. Bye. Bye. Finally, I'm tired of this campaign. I'm not even running and I'm tired. I'm over it. I'm over it. I'm over it. <laughs>